What's happening, folks? Back with another reaction, back with some more Dell. We're back with another tune from his Future Development album, 1997, and no, we're still not to the title track. I do want to save that one because, as I mentioned a couple times now, it's one of my all-time favorites. I just think it's not only a crazy underrated album, but that track in particular, when I ask people who know Dell or Deltron or any of his various um, pseudonyms, you know, what their favorite Dell related track is, I tend to hear two answers. I either hear At the Helm, which believe me, I completely understand that's a hieroglyphics tune, but again, he's sort of the linchpin and the main guy of the hieroglyphics. Um, but seriously, that's an absolute amazing tune and in the conversation for me as well. Or people will say a tune like Mastermind, again from the Deltron 3030 um, uh, project, if you will. I also agree with that one. Or they'll say the Gorillaz tune, which is not even so much like a Del track. He's on it, and I do think his verse in that is fantastic. But uh, yeah, for me, Future Development is very much in that conversation, and I never hear anybody else who knows his work put it there. So to me, it's a bit crazy, but I think it's brilliant. We'll get there, but in the meantime, we're going to listen to another track from the same album called Why You Want to Get Funky, essentially with me. I don't know, like in the version that I have, which again is ripped from my old vinyl copy that I sold years back, I just had it titled as Why You Want to Get Funky, question mark. So the chorus is Why You Want to Get Funky with Me, so again, maybe I'm misremembering it or maybe I wrote it down incompletely, but um, as far as I know, the title is Why You Want to Get Funky, question mark. So yeah, it's a song about Dell and his unusual nature as it relates to social situations, in particular flirting and maybe dating. Which is to say, and you know, I have only seen him as part of the hieroglyphics one time, um, and I know a few people who've seen him more, including like solo shows, or shows where it's, you know, styled as Adele the Funky Homo Sapien show and not a hieroglyphic show. Uh, and you know, a couple of them made clear to me, even before I saw him the one time, that, you know, unlike some MCs who are kind of always up in front, like right in the front and, you know, front and center, uh, Dell often like lurks in the shadows and he's often, you know, like when the other guys in hieroglyphics are rhyming, he'll be sort of lurking in the background, kind of like out of sight, and then he'll come out for his verse and then recede back. And he'd like, again, he was a computer programmer before he was, you know, actually professionally making music. He, you know, he's an, uh, um, a rare cat, like he's not, like a lot of other MCs and he has his own style and I think that comes across in this track because when he talks about how like he's just you know hey how you doing you look nice you know would you want to go get you know coffee sometime like he's trying to talk like people do in the world of meeting new people and flirting and so on but the way other people interact with him in the song suggests that the aura he gives off is a bit, you know, outside the lines. He's a bit of an unusual guy. And now for me and many others, his fans, it's in a really cool way. But as you'll see here, most of the women he encounters in this track, you know, think he either looks like a hobo because he's not dressed, you know, the way that you should be if you're going out talking to ladies or whatever, or they just think that the way he talks and rhymes is sort of like a weird thing. So. Uh, it's a really funny track because again, you know, in a lot of hip hop, you like, oh, like I'm, I'm a ladies man, like I'm the, you know, like it's all about sort of boasting as to your, your prowess and so on. And Dell's here doing the complete opposite. He's saying like, you know, every time I try to flirt with a woman, she sort of is like, dude, you're crazy. But my favorite part of the whole thing though is there's one woman who, she's not so much judgmental in the sense that like, oh, you look like you're in crap clothes. It's the way that he approaches her that she's like, look, you're obviously just the boy hanging out with your fellow boys over here. So let me teach you a lesson. And that verse in particular is genius. So let's get it. This is Dell, Why You Want to Get Funky from the album Future Development, 
one with the waterfall and take your father's car. Although it ain't that far, they got a whole bazaar of fly girls up the paw. Yeah, it sounds like a plan. I need a new walk, man. We pass a popcorn stand. That's why he really wants to go. Lands in the land, no less. I spot a Jimmy with yes. And I had on sweat. She looks unimpressed. I said, damn, you're fine. But nothing about her behind. I said, do you have the time to sit back and chit chat? She said, no. You look like a whole bum. And with that camouflage shit, looking like G.I. Joe. I said, I'm not that broke. And I could buy you a coat. She said, this must be a joke. I swear to her till she soaked and shook me off. Like a ball. I said, what's the deal with the clothing? As long as it's cloth. Why you want to get funky with me? Like what? So like, interact with my damn, brain. Not like Girl, sweat. why you want to get funky with me? Slow you roll a little. Damn, you crazy. Girl, why you want to get funky with me? Slow you roll a little. Damn, you crazy. Okay, she too stuck up. I didn't catch, so what? My pockets busted their guts. Getting me straight stuck on anger. Let her go. Why sweat herself? Oh, fuck you guys. Let's fuck with some fries at the quick stop. Where the chicks pop up, let's pop at them, nigga, like a magnum. Next destination, stop at the gas station. My heart started racing, saw this cutie who waited. I spoke like Jason with no authorization. I looked her in her face and asked her how her day went and her digits. She said, what is this? It's none of your business. I'm shorter than a midget. I fidget shit. She asked, why are you nervous? I said, your curves just amaze. They glaze my eyes over. I told you. She said, are you sober? Venom is like a cobra. Don't you know that I'm older than you and your crew? You do what little boys do. You couldn't deal with this. Then she sealed it with the kiss. Shit. Like, oh. I felt this in my crew. It's that he's laughing. And when I turn around, and act like nothing had happened. I feel oh, like it's, yeah. it's got to come from something real. Oh, yeah. That's just yeah, that fool got clouded. Yeah, perfect. Oh, here we come, here we come. Hey, we out there. Why you want to get funky <laughs> hey, with me? Slow your roll a little. Damn, you crazy. Girl, why you want to get funky with me? Slow your roll a little. Damn, you crazy. Girl. Why you want to get funky with me? How we let the you don't stop. We got ghosts, got fries, got it some girls too. The ones with the curl do, that's my life shampoo. What's up, precious? I like your necklace. We doing a show tonight, you might wanna check us. She said, you're down. I said, I know, the one on my note. And then she hit a high note. Y'all is high bro, and where's Pep Lover? I said, he's on the other side of town. But a partner had a frown. Two out of three's cool, it ain't bad. She must not know how to act. She tripping the things, and each finger got raised. We bout to bounce like spring. When she like, where my chicken wait? Cutie like, can you sign this word time so you can be on my mind to remind? I said, fine. Chicken pound, not like, who he? He ain't no one. I know him from Logan, was now her slogan. They was jockin', she was cock blocking. They said they got that tip to keep a whole block rockin'. She said, so, niggas with egos, what you coming out your place for? I'ma let you know, ho. Why you wanna get funky with me? Harsh. Slow your road a little, damn, you crazy. But again, I do enjoy the running theme of Slow your roll a little. Damn, you, you crazy, just can't girl. connect in the way that like it normally works with anybody. Damn, you crazy, huh? Why you wanna get funky with me? Slow your roll a little. Damn, you crazy. And even when he does, there's like a friend who's like, ah, why are you interested in this guy? A bunch of guys with egos and whatever. They're not even the best rappers. Yo, what? What the fuck? But that middle one is my favorite. Man. You know, it's like, it's one of his story songs, there's a few of those, like, you know, I think of a lot of his, um, a lot of his tracks are more, like, conceptual, and he's, you know, making, like, analogies, and, you know, analyzing social situations, and so on, but every once in a while he has a, like, straight up uh, story track, and this is one of my favorite in that regard. Uh, and like I said, I think all three encounters are funny, but that middle one where, like, the woman's like, dude, look, I'm older than you. You're like a little boy. Same with your crew. Like, you know, you do what little boys do. 
and you're out here trying to like, you know, like rhyme at me. Like, are you even sober? Like, get out of here, little boy. And she kisses him on the cheek and walks away. It's like, oh my God. Like if you're his friend, you're just like, oh my God, I'm not even gonna look, man. It's, it's like a train wreck. Uh, but yeah, honestly, um, this whole album is fantastic and, you know, I feel like I've gotten through most of the ones that I wanted to, like, lead up into future development, so when I come back for Dell next time, that's probably what I'll do. Um, and again, there's more Deltron 30 to 30 to go through. I did do a couple tracks, like, a year ago, um, as well as At the Helm, about a year ago. Uh, but, you know, those videos are old, um, you know, I've learned a lot in the last year. I might end up redoing those tracks, we'll see. But either way, lots more Dell coming, more hip hop of other kinds. You know, I'm gonna keep going through uh, Beastie Boys. Um, there's some Wu Tang I still want to go through. Um, so yeah, more in this genre coming, even if it's not one of the bigger followed playlists. But again, I'll keep going through everything on the channel no matter what. So let me know what you think. I'll see you next time. Peace.